channel guys it's your boy Wayne thank you for joining me on another one and today is a beautiful day in the Northeast um, today's uh, vlog is gonna consist of a review of the K&N intake versus the AEM V2 you guys know I've been running the two um, I'm seeing a noticeable gain in the V2 that I read upon on you know s2k forms and all that stuff and saying that there really isn't a uh, noticeable and if anything that the K&N is a little bit better um, it's your own opinion, but I'm going to take you guys on a road to show you the difference between the two. I personally think the V2 has some benefits into it, but there is a con to it as well, too. Um, and so as well as the K&N as well, too. Uh, so with that said, we're going to hit the road and see the difference between the two. You guys seen the video of when I was running the K&N, so you could kind of balance off that. Today is going to show you how the V2 runs and you could see into the VTEC when it kicks in and where my eyes are seeing the noticeable difference. So um, another part came in. Um, I'm going to be going with a um, performance radiator. And the reason is this was unexpected, but I had came home one night after taking a ride and I had seen some residual coolant on my radiator it looks like it's seeping from right here on the tops so with all that said and you guys are know i'm going to be getting some major work done to this car soon it's going to be putting a lot of pressure so we need to switch this out so this is going to get switched out i'm going to take you guys on the journey of switching this out too i'm just waiting on the performance hoses top and bottom and we'll get that switched out um as well too i ordered some uh different um posts from too as well so it's going to be dressed up nice as well too i am keeping my stock fans because i do hear that the stock um s2k fans work really good versus the other ones unless you want to get mushimoto or uh, the other stuff those work great too um just trying to find a little budget friendly way to get this done so this will help you guys out too as well and uh, another thing guys so I'm in the talks of with the shop that I'm working with. I don't want to talk too much about it, but we may be building a big sponsorship for me and this car um, and my A spec. I don't want to talk too much into it because it's something we are going to sit down and talk with, but they want to work with some local uh, serious builders like me and uh, getting, you know, a nice sponsorship going for us. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there. It's very exciting. Um, I can't wait. So without further ado, guys, let's hit the road. Let's uh, see the difference between the two. And thank you for joining me. Peace. sitting around the engine with all that heat because it's only going to produce high uh, uh, heat into the system anyways. Um, right now the benefit of me having the V2, um, it's lower right down by the bumper uh, where the vent is, where you can cut out either for, you know, whatever, whether a fog light or whatever. Um, the only downfall is um, hydro lock. So if you're dealing with uh, stuff like that, where you live in a place where it rains consistently and you know you drive your S2K on a daily basis, then I don't recommend this intake for you. Um, I'm not dealing with too much of uh, rain in every minute of the day. We'll get spotty showers. So long story short, the V2 is beneficial for somebody like me who has a garage that takes their car out every now and then is not using it as their one car daily car so um if you can void all those um this intake is for you and i, I really highly recommend 
end it. Um, yeah, I recommend it definitely. Uh, but the K&N as well is also a great intake. Yeah. So, hot day today. Um, hope you guys like those pulls. Just wanted you guys to see the S out of the garage. I'm always doing something to it, so I know it spends a lot of time in the garage. But we've definitely turned this car around. Um, like I said, in a week and a half, we got a lot of a lot of parts to install, and she's gonna look beast. So the intake, I'm loving it. I wouldn't go back to the K&N. So. Definitely some noticeable gains that I see. And she's running real healthy. So yeah, that's, you know, if you guys want an AEM V2, I highly recommend it for the reasons that I said. Well, number one, if you have a garage, and number two, uh, if you can get a, a sock or a sock for the intake, which I'm in the process of getting as well too. Uh, but my car sits in the garage, so I'm not really too worried, and it doesn't rain too much here. So...
All right, gang, so that wraps up the channel today. It is hot as balls out today, so I'm going to try to jump in my pool at home. Uh, but with that said, guys, that wraps up the video. Um, I hope you guys like the, you know, the review on the two. I know it's pretty much biased because everybody has their own opinion on these two intake systems. I'm just giving you to a, a better perspective just because I've owned the two. Um, we have a lot of work to do on the S2K. We're going to have the, a lot of parts coming in still. All as well, too, we're going to be heading to the shop to do a lot of vlogging there. And um, the dyno, the tune, the installs, the whole bit. So thank you guys for riding along on the journey. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps it grow. Um, and thank you guys. Stay positive. Stay humble. To the next one, guys. Peace.